I wanted to know why were all these women having such painful complications coming out of the hospital system when for 25 years it wasn't happening with the women that I looked after. Do you want to know why the Thompson Method was created? In this video, you are really going to get to know Dr. Robin Thompson herself, and you're going to understand why she felt it was important to create a new approach to birth and breastfeeding. If you watch to the end of the video, you're really going to get to know her more and you're going to understand a bit more about the principles of the Thompson Method. If you look below in the description, you'll see a link to download Dr. Robin's free guide towards pain-free breastfeeding. So don't forget to check that out and give us a thumbs up and hit the bell so you don't miss out on some more awesome videos. Let's listen to the lovely lady herself on her journey in the beginning of starting the Thompson Method. From my hospital experience to home birth experience was so phenomenally different. I want to desperately share that information with so many women to say that you can be in control of this. You don't have to have other people being in control. You don't have to be frightened. If you do have a problem or a medical condition or whatever it requires, then of course there's a beautiful team of, of medicine to do that. But you don't have to fall into a systemized way of doing, of transitioning through your, your journey. The system has been set up and it's engulfed us. We feel obliged to go to the system and I think that's causing more harm than good. We know that the abdominal delivery rate is now about 33% in this country. We know that babies are extracted and when they are, they're roughly handled, not with intent. Nobody goes out with intent to harm, but when you see it happening, you realise. And when you've been watching a woman give birth to her baby and she takes her baby in the most beautiful way, you think, oh my goodness, some babies just are handled so roughly. Why do we want to rub babies at birth when we know that all that microbe transfer between a mother and baby is so important? that we want to rub them dry and we want to wrap them up tight. We shouldn't be interfering like that. We want to inject them before the mother gets them. We should be much more thoughtful. We should be thinking about what we're doing. Why are we doing it? Do we have to do it? I want to get people thinking about what they do, why they do it. I want to share my experience with breastfeeding because my question came about because so many women were being referred to me in my private practice and so many women through my maternal and child health service practice were referred to me with breastfeeding complications. So I wanted to know why were all these women having such painful complications coming out of the hospital system when for 25 years it wasn't happening with the women that I looked after. There might be an occasional need for help and there may be someone who has a congenital abnormality that needs some extra help with breastfeeding where one breast more developed than the other. There's a whole lot of little factors why, but in the big picture, most women are capable and we're taking away their capability. So I want to get that information out just to share with people that my research did show some women that I was horrified when I looked at the nipple trauma, how bad it was. In my research of 653 women, nearly 85% uh, of women had either a pain-free or a pain-reduced feed while I was sitting beside them, not touching, and they were feeding, many of them were feeding over, well, almost all of them came to me with a complication. So they were feeding over trauma, and this was just the first visit that I'd done with these women. And they would look at me and say, ah, oh, ah, oh, there's no pain. And they would just be feeding, the baby would be feeding. Or they'd say, oh, that's better. It, and one woman said to me, with the most horrifically damaged nipples, I was horrified, oh, oh, she said, it's sensitive, but there's no pain. Come back to just being a mother with her baby, gently doing what we now have labeled the Thompson method. <laughs> 
That was when we saw the change and women were saying it was much better. Now, it was never 100% for some women, but it was so, so much better that they could keep going. And it took up to three weeks for some of the wounds to heal. And I do have photographs of the scars that were left behind from some of those wounds. It was traumatising for me just watching it because I'd never experienced that. So that was my question for my research and that was the reason that I was awarded my PhD. And hopefully now it's going to benefit thousands of women worldwide if we can get the message out that we need not to interfere unnecessarily with a mother and her baby at any time through the transitions of her pregnancy, of her labour, of her birth and of her breastfeeding. Well there you have it. If you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and hit that bell to subscribe and don't forget if you are pregnant look below in the description and you'll find the link to download Dr Robin's guide towards pain-free breastfeeding. Guys, please do remember that this is your body, your journey and your baby. My name is Chelsea Curley and I will see you soon.